Welcome back. Team Spirit, Hellraiser's on the bottom lower bracket start. Potentially just getting eliminated. That That's basically almost, I believe, relegation it's supposed to be into Div yep. 2. So this is madness. There is going to be a bit of a wraparound here from Milady. Rebel is there as well. Maposh going to break the smoke. Milady going to run right into them. Who's going first though? Sticky Bomb plays. They've got a double stun out from Yatoro. And Milady, he's just going to drop. Just to block off the bottle refill here for Toronto Tokyo. But you are at that point in the Sand King where, again, level Malady. 5, just focus on farm. Malady's dropping quite low here, John Mira. He's going to have the blast off available. He's still going for the man fight. In fact, Sticky Bomb's now out. Malady very confident, but the shackles going to come out a bit too late. And that's something Team Spirit has to really be on point for defending. They can't afford to bleed out farm away to the side of Hellracers. Well, stun out. They've got the edge now. Burrow Strike will be there. Toronto Tokyo to follow up as Malady does end up going down bot lane. So, split kills across the map. Uh, taking it slow and using this opportunity to build up on the force that get me that Oh, nice flash dodge. Maposhka top lane dodging the spear out. He might still drop, but he's going to go for a bit of a run. They are going to chase him down with the edge though, and it does seem like Maposhka eventually will go down here. They're also building up onto that blink here for collapse. Uh, double blinks up, lots of ways to take the angles in these fights. Rebel has to be really cautious once that DK blinks up because he's going to be very susceptible to the chain stuns. Oh, here we go, mid lane, a bit of a fight breaking out as it looks like they've got the Sanking and they will take Toronto Tokyo down, but in the meantime, at least they'll find the end here for Team Spirit. Problem is though, Hellraiser is more than ready to try and pressure the mid tier one tower with the Siege Creep. They are getting away with it, and even the Serpent Ward's going to be dropped. Oh, they've even still got the Enchanted Creep around as well, just to make matters even worse for Team Spirit. And I suppose this is one of the, the really big things that, that was always going to happen with these drafts. Hellraisers, they are going to have a very, very quick timing comparison. With a minus armor coming through from the Orb of Corrosion, they do have really good wards to spot this uh, as well from Hellraisers to defend her position, although... Yeah, Collapse going to move in. They've got the Tiny into the Fiend's Grip, Watson! Well, I, I guess you can't get kited if you get Fiend's Grip, John. Roshan, though, is still going to drop the wave Hellraisers. John, I couldn't help but notice you giggled there. What, what's going on? In fact, hold that thought, because there is going to be a Dragon Tail coming out. But they are going to try indeed to, to go after the engine. Well, eventually they'll have him. Collapse, he will pick up the kill on the DK. Yeah, it's again just... Oh, Yatoro! Oh, no. Oh, Yatoro gets caught with his pants down mid lane, John, and Team Spirit. They're grouping up. They want to keep going. They know whole raises. They're hanging around that same area in the dire jungle. Korea is going to go down, which should give that information back the way of Hellraiser, but the Ooh. jump is in. They actually missed the Spear of Maposhka. He's going to walk out scot free, and now they've got the Ember. That'll be your Aegis gone. Toronto Tokyo holding on to the Burrow Strike. We'll time it perfectly right into the Fiend's Grip, and he's just going to explode. Can they get any more? It looks like they probably can. They've got the end trapped up. He's going to try and go for a bit of a run, but Sticky Bomb's going to be there, and he is going to be a very, very slow deer. It's a very nice venison there for Collapse. At some point, even though you and I don't have any faith in this Sven pick, it probably will work out. It is Yatoro after all. In fact, here we go again. Collapse, going to get stunned up into oh. the follow-up, and he just gets blown up. Oh boy, Yatoro, he's hitting hard. In fact, Spirit are already setting up for the mid lane, trying to force a fight. There's your five-man smoke up, broken by Toronto Tokyo, who pops the BKB. He wants to move in, but who's the target? Manity, he'll be the first one on the Shaman. Already gone. A Spirit, it looks like that might be it. They'll leave it be. No other target showing right now, oh, as they're going to no, miss what? another Spear. Oh, they've missed another one. Arena down. Watson, he's looking for someone to hit, but no one around. He'll get stunned up. He does not have the BKB available quite yet. Still moving away, trying to retreat, but now Yatoro, right on the backside. He's got the tiny down. Collapse, he will drop, but they've got the Ember held up here by the Fiend's Grip. As he's out of mana, he'll still charge up. They'll at least find the Aegis, though. Yatoro, gonna lose that secondary life. Or at least the first one. It's starting to feel like this is the point where you kind of need to see a little bit more from Rebel. He's still a ways off from something like the Axe. He does have a Maelstrom from damage output, but... Oh. Oh, we've got a Hurricane Pike available, but the disarm is there from Mira. Mira going for the D ward. Meanwhile, Yatoro does end up finding Limitless once again, as there is still a fight going on in the backside on this edge. Mira is still surviving. He's going to walk away and actually tips over to the edge. As can they get the TP away? Oh. Not quite collapse. He's going to make it in time. 
And that'll give him enough information to try and sneak up from the backside. Let's see if it does work out though. Problem is you do have the mines available. It's going to make it very obvious the smoke's happening. So Team Spirit, they want to go for the fight. They're more than happy with the info they've been given for themselves from Mira. These proximity mines. One of the very annoying things is now the jump is there. Collapse. He'll be out. Spear, not going to land. The BKB was out in time from Collapse. They do take down Malady. And after Limitless, they go. Rebel, he'll make the jump in. He'll try. But it's so much damage from Yatoro. Just taking them all out. Here comes the man fight. Watson on the tiny. Trying to be the real Sven. But he is not going to be it. Oh, they wiped them out. You know what, John? This techie's hero might be kind of broken. Smoke situation, John Rebel, gonna be spotted out first. There's the blink in, collapse, he's a bit too early, but Toronto, Tokyo on the backside, already finding the tiny. Malady, he's the real target. Rebel's down, Malady's down as well. This doesn't look like the team fight. Hellraisers, they need to back off right here, right now, but Yatoro, he's all over Watson. There goes your tiny. No buyback available, they just call it. GG, an immediate disconnects to come out from Hellraisers. I think, uh, I think Watson was not too happy about this game one, John. We are getting into our game two draft here between Hellraisers and Team Spirit. And the freeing up of the side lanes is helping out Watson collapse. Yeah, he might be in a bit of trouble. Collapse. Gonna go for a bit of a run in the fog with the tree line. Is not gonna be fine. Gilgi able to land the arrow, but now Mira's gonna move in, trying to go on Malady. It doesn't seem like he's gonna have enough damage though, Malady. Just gonna chase him down with the Hellbear Smasher. Mira, he's gonna try and turn now, but the heal is already there. There's no real choice. He does have to let Malady go. A very nice kill there. The bot lane, it looks like Limitless is gonna be in a spot of danger. Does get a nice spear away, but Yatoro is gonna save the blink and does commit it to take down the Mars. So I suppose you have a, a bit of an even trade across the map here with these two teams. They're still applying that pressure top as well, Malady. He's gonna go down. Watson will try after Mira and does manage to get him. So Rebel does rotate. In fact, now Maposhka, he TPs right into the Ember. This could be a little bit problematic, but he will brain tap and dukes out the arrow. Rebel, he'll still go for the chase, but he doesn't have another remnant. Our PA is also inching towards that battle fury. And that is still a concern. How do you handle this TA down line? PA, you don't have the best match damage here. A page grip is out, they've got Rebel in the mid lane, Gilgi unable to cancel it off, still they do go on with the Barrow Strike, they've got the follow up, and they've got Rebel down. Top lane, there could be a bit of action to break out, top tier 1 tower is gone, Rebel though has rotated over to try and deal with Collapse. Chains are going to come out into the arrow setup, and they've got perfect setup there with a massive stun onto the Pango. Collapse, he's still alive, still trying to move out, but he's not going to make it. In fact, towards the south, they even found Maposhka. With the Wild Ring Ripper, they'll push him back and they'll get another kill here for Hellraisers. Have they got another? They found Yatoro. With the Haste Rune Rebel, he just wants to keep going. Yatoro knows he can't go for this fight right now and will end up backing off, but the chain's out again. This time, though, there won't be follow up. Still grouped up, looking for that tier 2 then. Yeah, Toronto, Tokyo, he's just trying to thumb up that blink, but the dust is there. Limitless has a nice arena into the spear. It's a great setup. But Poshka, he's going to cop the arrow. Nice fire strike, though. They've got the Marana down. But Poshka with the Fiend's grip out. But where's your follow up? He's held down the TA. She's out of mana. But Maposhka is going to drop. They're going to go for a four man smoke. Malady, he might be around to break it. In fact, he does. Toronto, Tokyo, not reacting, just running towards the north. They have vision on Watson. The TA gets caught out and is gone. They could not react fast enough to help, but they're going to try and force the fight anyway. In jumps Rebel. Toronto, Tokyo, Ooh. though, with a double burrow strike out. They still want the fight. A great nightmare. Toronto, he's still alive. Collapse. With the Rolling Thunder, is still looking for a target. But Rebel, he moves in with the slider fist and takes care of the Sand King. They'll even find Malady. Limitless. Well, he's stuck around and he might just get punished for it. The arrow. Not going to land on Mira. Rebel. He'll keep going. Disarm is there though. Collapse. He wants to keep the fight going himself. Oh. As they've got the Ember down. How's this team fight working out for Team Spirit? Gilgi. He can't run. A full team wipe for Team Spirit. They are moving their way up. And Mira. He will be able to scout out for his team. But can they get there in time? They're going to get cut off mid lane, Moonlight Shadow, Collapse, he's going to be very careful as the chains are out, into the arrow, oh. but the Burrow Strike, Toronto, Tokyo, he jumps right in, Gilga's gone, Rebel, he's still trying to fight, but he can't make it out, he's gone to boot, in fact, now the Rolling Thunder, Collapse, oh, the revenge from the Pango, 
triple kill out for Toronto right. Tokyo, and suddenly Roshan's gonna go the way of Team Spirit. How do they do it, John? Mm. Every time. In they go again. Got done. Watson now. Watson, he's gonna try to retreat, but he's just, they're all over him. In fact, Melody, he's the final piece of the puzzle. He'll try to go for a TP up, but Maposhka's gonna be there with an immediate nightmare. How do you do that? Like Max Blur, the evasion's too much. Oh, they found. That'll be Limitless gone. In fact, Melody's also been caught out here from Yatoro. Limitless, he's got no way out. He just drops within his own arena as Yatoro still chasing down the inch. Melody, oh, he can run, but he can't hide as Yatoro will find him. They just kind of waste time. They, they're not able to farm up in that downtime. They split up, trying to get some efficiency back. They do have this BKB on Watson. Uh oh. oh. Rebel, he's going to be okay. They don't have enough perma stun to lock down the Ember. In fact, Collapse, he might get chased down, Limitless, have a look around with this Moonlight Shadow, wants to try and initiate, is it really a good idea, Toronto, Tokyo, he already read it, but the Epicenter never went off, Arrow is gonna land, the Sand King dropping very low and should go down and eventually does, they will pick it up with Watson, Team Spirit, they're still gonna try and move in with the Feed Drip, oh, they've got no. the TA caught out, Watson, he's gonna pop, but he's just going down, Yatoro, he'll just keep going on his own, moving in, Rebel, does at least take down Maposhka, but can he handle the damage of the PA? It doesn't seem like it is your Toro. He'll just keep going. A nice spear away though. Onto that PA, just forcing him back. Ooh. They will allow the mask to get out. Ooh. Just barely. Malady. Ticking out. Might just go down. And it looks like he may to the spirit vessel. In fact, he's one hit away. They'll find him. As in we go again. Your Toro finding Ghoul Gear. And Rebel. He's just gonna have to run. His mirror. We'll keep up the vision. Yatoro, he'll be there to follow up. Rebel does have one remnant to commit. As Limitless is going to be around to try and help him out if necessary. In fact, Gilgi even commits the buyback just in case. It's HR going to move into that Radiant Triangle, but there's your counter smoke out now. Team Spirit, they're going to run right behind. Watson, he can't be the first one to get caught out. He's going to back off to the high ground at the right moment. As Moonlight Shadow is going to be popped. They have a sentry around, but Limitless has jumped in. But a quick fire strike. Toronto Tokyo is in. Limitless, he does take down Maposhka. The Bane's gone. Meanwhile, Watson going after Yatoro, but he's still alive. Moving on to the Mars. Can he survive? It seems like he can. The PA's fine for now, but Rebel is going to be able to take him out. As Hell raises. It's all oh, they lost, Watson. They lost the TA anyway. So both position ones going Ooh. down. And now Collapse is going to move right in, already draining the manor of the Ember, taking down the Marana. And they wipe them out again. Roshan's already at half HP, and it doesn't seem like they're quite going to be able to make it. As the scan is out, but it's all too late. Roshan is going to go the way of Team Spirit, that they may still try to force the fight here. Hellraisers, they jump in. Maposhka, a great target to start with. Collapse, he'll go for the Rolling Thunder, finding the Ember. Meanwhile, Yatoro, right onto Watson, right after the jugular. He wants the TA gone, and he's got him. Just crits him down, no problem. As Malady, he will be the second to drop. They've got to back off here, Hellraisers. They can't force this fight any longer, but they'll lose a third. Mira will pick up a double. Well, how do you kill this PA now? It's feeling impossible. And I think that fight for Hellraisers looked really good because he cleaned up Meposhka. They had a really good target to jump on first. Bash Abyssal already up for Yatoro. Very close to her. In fact, the full Abyssal as well for Collapse. So yeah, Watson. just bashes through. Watson, they're going to see each Ooh. other. Yatoro and Watson just going to man fight in the backside where everyone else is just fighting. Who the hell cares? This TA is in massive trouble. Watson, he's going to try and turn around, but Yatoro, he's just jumping right back in. There's the Aegis gone, though. They'll get the first life, but can they get this TA out of there? It doesn't seem like a Toronto. He gets a nice stun off. Still, the chase continues. Ooh. Maposhka, he will drop a collapse. He gets Watson down as Rebel. He'll get bashed up mid-dagger. No problem. Team Spirit. They find two cores for the, for the sake of a POS 5. And it's into T3 Towers they go. They want Malady. And they might just have him. Yatoro. He'll go for a chase. Does he want to blink in? Oh, he blinks it onto the Mars. Look at that. Limitless. He thought he was safe. He was not. And again, just, just the build up of these bashers, going through the BKBs, preventing that one big win condition versus China. Oh, no. Oh. 
Well, no crits coming out. Manali, he's okay for now, but not for long. Johnny, he should be down. Oh. And there you go. There's your crit. Eventually coming out for your Toro. You also have to find Mira. You have to prevent that time lapse back on the Bane because the Fiend's Rift will Oh, look at that. Out. He jumps right in. Your gear. He's going to survive for now. Yatoro dropping a little bit low. Collapse, he'll jump in. Nice spear out. It's going to be on the Weaver. Nightmare. It'll buy a bit of time, but Toronto Tokyo is in with the Burrow Strike, and now the Fiend grip onto the Ember. They just lock him down forever. There's no escaping. This could be the final team fight if Hellraisers can't make it work. It's collapse. He'll be out. It's a, a 4v3 situation. Yatoro, he's a bit low on mana, but he might oh. just jump in anyway. They're onto Watson. Can you lock him down, though? It's into the T4 Towers. Spear, it's not going to land. Yeah, Yatoro, he's out of mana now, and he might just have to go for the racks instead. And will. But that'll be it for them. It's time to reset for Team Spirit. Nice little Penta Edge sword there if Yatoro wants it. <laughs> he's going to keep the... Uh... No, he's going to take it. Of course he is, John. Why not? Gotta get that old school Sanch. Oh boy. Oh. Bash out. They caught the TA. Yatoro's right in. Watson. He's gonna be keeping up and run. But it may be no good because they've got the Fiend Grip. He needs help, but he's not gonna get it in time. And in goes the Abyssal. They've got the Ember locked down. There's too many stuns available. They might just have to call it. GG. Manly's seen enough. Hellraisers, they will be relegated, but Team Spirit, they are safe to move through to round two of the lower bracket for the EEU finals for the DPC.